Well, Mac, it's catching. Baseball is a game of time-honored traditions. Things haven't changed for over the 100 years that baseball's been played. Actually, that's not true. In 1973, Big a radical Ella, new rule was implemented. The boy who comes through in the that new rule's name was the designated hitter. Pitchers are usually poor hitters. But they don't start out that way. Growing up, they're the best athletes on their team. Therefore, they're the best hitters on their team. But something seems to happen. They become known as an easy out. The designated hitter rule was formed to address this issue. Wow, these guys are bad. A huge exception to this was Babe Ruth. He was a good pitcher who was a great hitter. So great, in fact, that he was turned into a fielder so that he could, that he could play and hit every day. Most of the time, pitchers can't hit. Well, maybe she'd make a good hitter someday. Since no one wanted to see pitchers hit anymore, the major leagues had to come up with an idea, the designated hitter. Here is the rule. The idea wasn't new. Actually, Connie Mack came up with it in 1903. Charlie Finley owned the Oakland A's through the 1970s. He was a master showman and innovator who had some revolutionary ideas for the game, like white shoes, cash bonuses for mustaches for the players, and very gaudy uniforms for the time. He even changed the elephant mascot to a live mule. Of course, some of his ideas failed miserably, like orange baseballs. Seriously, orange? Charlie's idea was to have the pitchers not hit. Of course, his teams did have some great success during the 1970s, which may have contributed to the fact that the league took him seriously. He was almost single-handedly responsible for this change in rules. In 1973, the DH, as it is now known, was implemented for a three-year trial. That was renewed, and the American League has used the DH ever since. The controversy is because the National League doesn't, and baseball purists do not like the difference. But it looks like the DH is here to stay. Frank Thomas went into the Hall of Fame as the first designated hitter. One of the next designated hitters to go in could be David Ortiz, who's currently playing. I don't think that he will be the last.